Yesterday was my wedding anniversary. Two years since the day I realized I'd made the biggest mistake of my life. And I'm going to get reminded of this every single time this anniversary happens. Every single time. It's going to pop up on Facebook memories. It's going to come up on the 1st of May. And there's going to be photos. And that's exactly what I'm getting at. Because I got a slap in the face, so to speak. It was a kick in the balls, so to speak. I saw these pictures and that's when I realised, Ollie, you've done nothing that you say to your clients to do. You've become really overweight again. I was stressed running up to the wedding. I know we have this running joke about, yes, the husband, all he has to do is give the wife a credit card. But I was trying to pay for everything. And in hindsight, we should have put a budget on the wedding. And it was very expensive, don't get me wrong. It was the most amazing day of my life until I saw these pictures. As you'll see, if you look on my timeline, if you look on my profile, wedding pictures, I've got a really bloated face. A football face. In fact, I put on over 20 kilos. Around 44, 45 pounds in the six months running up to my wedding. Why? I was stressed. I wanted my wife to have the best day of her life. I wanted to have the best day of my life. That's what it should be. So we went all out. That meant I had to go all out, hustle, hustle, hustle in my business to make sure I could pay for that wedding. That meant my stress levels went from here all the way up here, skyrocketed. That meant my health had to get pushed to the side. My morning routine went. In fact, at the same time, I got a bad Achilles injury. In fact, if I'd have carried on running, my doctor, when I had the MRI scan, said it's probably the worst I've seen on both Achilles without a full tear. So essentially an Achilles rupture. I didn't look after myself. Even though I was working with world champion athletes at the time, I was working with business guys at the time, telling them to eat good stuff, eat nutrient-dense food, eat micronutrients, stay hydrated, get your sleep, get your recovery, get your rest in. I was being a hypocrite. I was not doing what I tell people to do. But I was hustling, I was getting that money in, and then I saw the pictures. That's cool, I had the best day of my life. Then I saw the pictures. I can't change those pictures. When I have children, they're gonna see those pictures. My grandchildren are gonna see those pictures. Oliver Jordan Matthews looking so fat on his wedding day. And some people are gonna say, no, you don't look fat, shut the fuck up. Yes, I do. I was around 245 pounds. Actually, no, 255 pounds. 255 pounds. I had to do something. Then I got accountable. The first thing I'd done, which is kind of a reverse bet, I made myself accountable. I got 1,000 pounds, gave it to my wife, and said, I said, if I don't lose the weight that I put on, those 20 kilos, by your birthday, 26th of September, then you get to keep this. You get to waste it on whatever you want. And I'm not saying that because I've got a thousand pounds to spare. Far from it. I don't have a thousand pounds just to chuck away. That is the whole point. I was accountable. If I didn't do what I set out to do, and yes, it was a weight loss goal, which I don't always go for with my clients, but if I didn't do what I set out to do, I wasn't getting that money back. Another thing I've done, I got myself another accountability coach. I said to him, look, this is my plan. 
This is what I want you to tell me to do. If you think we should adjust it, cool. If you think we should change anything, cool. Tell me why and we will do that. Make sure I check in every single week. Make sure I get the results every single week. Make sure I send my photos every single week. Tell you what compliance levels I've had every single week. <clears throat> and I went all in. This wasn't a gradual change because I knew what needed to be changed. But I committed to it. Committed 100% to getting that goal. And I did it. 26th of September, I was 212 pounds. I'd lost that weight and a couple of pounds more if you want to go for it. And the thing that flipped here is what I get with clients. First, we have to have a commitment. The second, we have to have accountability. It's not just about having the perfect plan. Consistency trumps perfection 100% of the time. 100% of the time. If you have consistent accountability, you will get results. I guarantee it. And that's what I guarantee with my clients. So if you feel you are ready to make that commitment to be consistent and you need accountability, then get in touch with me. Ollie at revitalizationblueprint.com or go to revitalizationblueprint.com. Send me a message on contact me. Drop a comment below. Share this to anyone you think that could benefit. And let's get talking straight away. Don't make the same mistake I did.